First and foremost, I want to say Kalalali, how about Shem Yoshai, about Shem Karkwadash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Gabriel Stone, and salutations to the brothers that's pushing this work in sincerity and in truth, to the believers, the helps, right? The men that are, are out there, week in and week out, pushing this word in all sincerity, right? I'm the brother Yahaya from the James Kingston Jamaica camp. Here with a quick lesson. Alright, and this one is entitled Boast. Let thy soul boast in the Lord, man. Alright, that is the point of this lesson. You have things that we should give the Heavenly Father praises for. All things that we have in this life that we seek for. We should give the heavenly father praises for. I understand. The scripture in um, Ezekiel. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 43. Verse 30 says. When he glorified the Lord. Exalt him as much as he can. And this is a thing that brothers need to do. Always try to make sure your heart is set on. The glorification of the heavenly father. I understand. The scripture tell you, tell you that. Um, whichever situation that you are in, give the Heavenly Father praise because it is through suffering we are made perfect. It also tells us to rejoice as, you are, as much as you are partakers of your shy suffering. So even in the position of suffering, we are supposed to always seek to glorify the Heavenly Father. What did Job say man, when Job was being afflicted? Right? Job said, shall we receive only good and not evil from the Heavenly Father? So even in bad situations, we should try to glorify the Heavenly Father to the best of our, our abilities. For even yet, will he far exceed? Right? And when he exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary for he can, ne for he can never go far enough. He can never go far enough in the amount of praises and exhortation every father is supposed to get. Understand? When you have men that only focus on giving the Heavenly Father praises in good times, when things are going well, but no. You're supposed to give the Heavenly Father praises whether in good or bad times, men. Understand? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 2. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. So your soul is supposed to boast in the Lord. All that is has afflicted you, all that has given you joy, is a part of embracing the will of the Heavenly Father. That's why the scripture said, The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Because when you fully submit yourself to the powers of the Heavenly Father, whichever situation comes forth, you will give the Heavenly Father praises because you know that it's a part of His will. Verse 3 says, O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. Alright? So you're supposed to magnify the Heavenly Father. Magnify Him as much as thou can. Is he in? This is Psalms 44 verse 8. In God we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. It's supposed to praise his name forever, man. Because what? This is Psalms 10 and 17. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Right? The scripture tells you that um, in the book of, I think it's the book of Sirach, it tells us wisdom will lead thee by crooked ways. But at the last it shall restore the straight unto you. Right? So once you humble and accept the difficult positions that the Heavenly Father will place you through because it's a necessity. The, the, the affliction, the austerity, the difficult part, the position of streets is a necessary, um, you can call it a necessary deed that is to be done to purify us, to lead us into the kingdom of heaven. So even in those positions, we're supposed to glorify the Heavenly Father. And as the scriptures say, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Because you truly submit unto the will of the Heavenly Father. And you boast your soul in the Lord. You're always giving the Heavenly Father credit. 
because when you put you through a position of difficulty giving him credit shows that you trust you trust his will you trust his ways right and you know that rich regardless of whatever straits you're in he will raise you up out of it that's why the scripture said thou has heard the desire of the humble thou will prepare their heart thou will cast than hear that then ear to ear understand to judge the fatherless and the oppressed that the man of the earth may no more be oppressed so though we are oppressed though we are in a position of streets we should always glorify the heavenly father glorify the heavenly father in thought words and deed you understand this is book of um, second corinthians 10 verse 17 but he that glorified let him glory in the lord so when you glory when you when you when you have glorify glory in the lord don't glory of yourself because um there was a scripture that says that when not when 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 it there is harsh times a man quickly forget the good but you're not supposed to forget that look here in harsh times you you, you remember the heavenly father as well as in the good you understand because the scripture tells us that Jeshua walks it fat and kick. Don't don't only glorify the Lord whenever you feel like you need him the most. Glorify him at all times. You understand? Don't and when you reach a position where you feel a sense of comfort, don't leave off the Lord. Don't forget that He's the one that gave you comfort. You understand? Always reside in his in his is it in in his presence I always know that yahweh bashem yahshai is the one that enabled you to have ease know that he's also the one that that put you through difficult times but what through his strength he will enable you to endure all right so commend not yourselves don't believe it's through your will or through your power that you have in yourself that you can overcome or attain anything right this is verse 18 for n for not he that commending himself is approved so when you commend yourselves you are not approved but whom the lord commended so whomever the lord commended that is the one is approved this is psalms 27 verse 2 say let another man praise thee and not thy own mouth a stranger and not thine own lips and when these things happen when another man prays thee your scripture tell us say um the greater thou art the more thou humblest thyself in these position in these times is the time that you, you will see that it's truly the powers of the heavenly father working in your favor therefore you're supposed to give him more more praises right give him the praises because yet he will far exceed right nothing comes of your own self nothing is of your own um traits that you think you have all that was given was given unto us by the Heavenly father that's why the scripture tell you when um solomon solomon prayed and the scripture basically said that he the um wealth was presented unto him he requested of wisdom because part of wisdom is knowing that number one you're supposed to fear the Lord and humble thyself under his mighty powers. You understand? Humble thyself under his mighty powers and always seek to exalt him as much as thou can. Right? And with that out that this is lesson was edifying unto the lake. Shalom.